A very warm welcome to you. This is the show that keeps you updated with the latest in the property market news. You're watching The Real Estate and I'm Eleni Jokos. Coming up on the show, Soweto gets its first hotel in the history-rich Clifton Square. The Nedbank Property Professionals of the Year Awards took place last week and we bring you the breakdown in our studio interview. Plus, Ricky Fertig is in the studio to talk about the softening in the construction activity and what this means for employment in our home run segment. Soweto has welcomed its first hotel in the history-rich area of Cliptown and it showcases all things African. This uh, rich political history makes the Soweto Hotel an attractive tourist spot. Amanda Ntuli brings us this report. The Soweto Hotel is based in Cliptown, a national heritage site in Johannesburg, and deservingly so considering the rich history, including the drafting of the Freedom Charter back in 1955. The concept behind the Foster establishment is quite simple really, to honor the political and musical era of the 1950s. Um, the, the, the concept behind building this hotel was really to celebrate the location. And this is a national heritage site that was given status of national heritage status 2005. And we wanted to bring out the experience of celebrating history. The coming together of the Congress of the People, June 25 and 26, 1955, where really the Freedom Charter, which is the, the backbone of our constitution, was crafted. So we celebrate an experience that as you walk across the threshold of the hotel and come in the entrance, the first thing you see is the images of political icons like Walter Sisulu, Nelson Mandela, Mam Albertina Sisulu. There were many more political icons than liberation struggle um, uh, icons, but these three individuals, first of all, have a very prominent space here in Clipton. Walter Sisulu was hid hiding in the museum, which at the time was a timber hard warehouse. And uh, he was not allowed to be in the company of more than two people. He was banned politically for his political activism. And so that was why this place was named Walter Sisulu Square of Dedication. Mom Albertina was a social worker, a nurse, a political activist in her own right. And then Madiba, what more do I need to say? So those three are the first images. Then you take your walk through the hotel and we celebrate the jazz era of that time. It was the 50s, jazz was swinging. So you see pictures of the Huma Cielas, uh, baby uh, uh, Jake from, uh, uh, playing on his piano, uh, the leader of the jazz maniacs, whom the restaurant is named after, Wil Wilson Silky. And we collected all this art, uh, this photography from um, Alf Komalo, who has a museum here in Soweto at Dipkloof. Uh, you take a step out and you go into the rooms upstairs, the guest rooms. The walls are ador adorned with Nelson Mandela on the steps of the High Court after the treason trial. He's now been incarcerated and he's off to, you know, uh, being taken to Robben Island. But this dignified, tall leader that has now become a world icon, looking like he has just come out of a Sunday church service and not really a treason trial that's incarcerated him for life. And there again, you know, is a milestone. So we, the concept was really about the 50s. It was about that political era that we all come from. And it was about celebrating a history that has now become part of our lives and democracy that we enjoy today as a result of the Freedom Charter. Being the first hotel in Soweto, all efforts are being made to attract the different markets. We're trying to attract a number of markets. Um, interestingly enough, the domestic and local market has become the leading market of this hotel. And that to us has been a delight because it means that even in tough times when the international market goes dry, as we are now experiencing in the economic recession, uh, your local and domestic market keep you alive. And even beyond that, they sustain you and grow with you. So we have a lot of uh, accommodation over the weekend from local um, Sowetans. We have uh, stock fells, we have associations, we have church groups women's organizations, birthday parties, etc., that take place at the hotel. 
Beyond that market, we also um, pay a lot of attention to the government ma the market for conferences because we are actually within a great space where the Walter Sisulu Square um, Convention Center takes up to 3,000 people. Uh, the Soweto Tourism Conference Center takes up to 60. Our own boardroom, um, the boardrooms that we're in the process of completing, three of them, uh, one with a six-seater as the one that we are seated in, one with an eight-seater and another with a 14-seater. So we are targeting government. And then, of, of course, we are targeting the international market, people who want to experience Soweto and experience Soweto in a different way, in a unique way. And uh, we do work a lot with the international tour operators to get that market here. Walter Sisulu Square, where Soweto Hotel is based, was designed by a woman with a brief to use components pre and post 1994. I think um, what is very significant is that the entire center or square, Walter Sisulu Square of Dedication, is the design of a black woman called Precious Malloy, who won a competition in 2005 for the interpretation of a brief that talked about South Africa pre-1994 and South Africa after 1994. And she has now created a space that symbolizes all sorts of uh, milestones that have brought us to where we are today. So we had to build within an existing structure. Uh, lots of pillars, you know, the pillars of the people that hold South Africa up, uh, lots of uh, 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 symbols outside when you take a walk, the monument, uh, which is really the heritage monument uh, with, with the Freedom Charter in it. We therefore then decided to work more around the interior design to develop our experience for the hotel. So the interior design di designer's brief was really to say, we want a, a very understated, elegant environment, so comfortable. You know, you should walk in and know you've walked into a four-star space, but be comfortable and feel at ease and comfortable enough to flop into one of the armchairs. Uh, warm, uh, and this is denoted by all the African warm colors that you find. Uh, a lot of ochres, which are part of our traditional dyes, if you look at any African traditional colors. Uh, browns, uh, we used a lot of artifacts, color bashes, which are functional in our space, but can also be beautiful artifacts. We used a lot of texture, so our walls are denoted with you know, different textures, because if you go into a traditional Zulu hat or African uh, structure, Usually the floors may be done with cow dung and there's actually a pattern that comes out of how that was smeared on the floor. So it's a functional space but also a space that uh, has turned a lot of what is traditionally African uh, artifacts into beautiful decor. The hotel has different rooms ranging from the deluxe, double and two presidential suites with two floors. The first floor pays tribute to the long walk to freedom and the second to the countless struggle heroes lost during the apartheid era. The rooms are spacious and quite unique. You can rest assured you will not find a room like one at the Soweto Hotel anywhere else. Beautiful space with a bedroom area, a business area and a dressing area. Very well sort of demarcated and separated, but all in one room. And the presidential suites, of which we have two, uh, are beautiful 90 square meter areas with a beautiful lounge uh, and uh, dining area, as well as a bedroom area and a luxurious, spacious bathroom that you can live in throughout your stay. <laughs> The Soweto Hotel specializes in African cuisine to make their guests stay truly South African. Though the hotel was established under the Holiday Inn brand, it was later changed to the Soweto Hotel. When we originally opened, uh, we felt that it was important for the credibility of a four-star hotel to stand alongside an international brand that was easily recognizable. And we entered the market as the Holiday Inn Soweto which worked very well. Um, however, with some repositioning of the brand and further reflection, we recognize that the brand Soweto itself stands on its own, internationally and locally, and that it would be better to reposition ourselves as the Soweto Hotel on Freedom Square and still enjoy the credibility of an international market and a local market.